Sure guys, welcome to today's video. We'll be making a Deep House song like the Godfathers of Deep House essay. So we'll be making a nostalgic tune like they call them. So please make sure to watch till the end in order to gather and learn all the techniques that I'll be sharing with you guys today. And I hope you'll find it very helpful. Um, likewise, if you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe, leave a like, comment. Let me know what you guys think about the video and yeah that's it also i wanna brief you on the remit competition that i'm planning to have i will announce in detail in um, two or three days on how this will work out um i want it to be big because i have you know i've also gathered a lot of donations to compensate the winner this time um i've gathered or uh, around 30 usd which is equivalent to 500 south african rands to compensate the winner. Also, I have, um, you know, Unison um, MIDI chord pack, which is like one, uh, 1,200 MIDI chords. Um, MIDI chords. I have um, Deep Owls and Ama Piano sample packs. I have, um, you know, Log Drum presets. There's a lot of prices that I'm willing to give away to the to the to the winner. So I'm willing for it to be big, and I hope you guys, you know. Uh, participate in this comp competition uh, just watch out on the video that I'll post in two or three days announcing in detail the logistics of this competition otherwise without wasting much of your time let's get into today's video sure guys so we're gonna start off with our drum kit I'm gonna load in um, each four steps on our kick and then I loaded it to the mix and I added a preset from Maximus it's um, this kick 5 it's my preset um, just to make the kick punchy. Um, then the next thing I'm gonna add a shaker. There we go. And then fill each step just like that. Then press play. And then I'm gonna increase the swing a bit. All right. And then I'm gonna add a clap. I'll just add a refab. Okay, I think that's it for my drum kit, a simple drum kit. I'm gonna feel the four bars, then go to my pattern two. This is where I'll be building in my sounds. And then I'm gonna add this drum loop as well. Um, let me add it here. And then I'm gonna have to match the tempo of the drum loop to that of my BPM. I mean, of my project, it's um, between 100 and 200 BPM. So after that is done, I'll just duplicate this. And then now I have to process this. I have to load an EQ and make sure that I take off my lows because I already have lows from my original drum kit. It has a kick on it. Then we um, reduce the volume. And then also I'm going to add a shaker. Um, there we go. Reduce the volume. Okay, so that's it for my drum kit. Now I'm going to add in my sound now. Um, let's go to... I don't know how to pronounce this... Um, Plugin. I'm just gonna add a pad. We're gonna start off with a pad. Okay, stick to that. We 
we're going to be using minor ninth chord for this tutorial d power song um we'll use a minor ninth chord okay let's transpose it downwards that's too loud Okay, let's reduce the volume. Then I'll take it to a mixer just to make sure that um, I cut off my highs and my lows. Sorry, this has to be a low pass. And then... that as well then just make this one longer then let's go back to our pattern 2 and add another sound let's add something from the same plugin the same Um, you can also purchase these on my store, on my online store. Just to raise the velocity a bit.
Okay, I'm just gonna transpose this an octave downward. There we go. I duplicate this. take it to my mixer and do a bit of processing to it I have to make it punchy um, this is the um, preset I use on my Maximus to to make it punchy and then I also use uh, Fruity Flangus it's a smooth um, effect that I add to my um, log drum to give it that nostalgic feel so let me just play this again So now I'll just play around with this knob, um, this sustaining knob. Um, let me create automation clip and then give it um, a bit of riser here at the end. Um, let me just zoom in and then I will change the way the last two or three notes sound. Right. Um, let me do that. So this value should be around midway. So let me just take it to 52 and then um, maybe do it that way. Just like that. Let's see how that sounds. Um, just reduce the cut of frequency and then increase the release a bit, the delay and the reverb as well. Thank you. 
here I can record the cutoff frequency. Um, so I'm gonna go to record notes and automation, and then I'll press play. Um, as it's playing, I will um, adjust the knobs according to my preference, and then FL Studio will capture the automation. And yeah, that will be it. Instead of manually um, creating an automation clip. Um, before we do that, let me cut and paste this into a separate pattern and then make it um, twice longer because I want to record an automation clip that will fill the entire 8 bars so let me paste this on the piano roll I mean on the playlist and then now we can start recording our cutoff It. Let's try taking the BPM down to 117. Okay, as you can see, that's the automation that was recorded by Air Force Studio. This is me shifting the knob up to, I think that's 12, that was 12 o'clock. So we can just, you know, duplicate these and then duplicate this as well and then trim it out there. Yeah, let's try play it now. To my next um, sound I'll add something from say purity purity um, let's go to bells and add marima yeah I'm gonna reduce the volume cool. um, I told you guys will be sticking to the minor ninth chord so let's just do that um, sounds too low, so let's transpose it an octave up. Give it also a reverb. Let's also try to give it a convolver. something that will create noise in the in the song I think that one is fine you can also use this one but then I'll use um, the impact TE for this video um, I'll just pull up my minor ninth chord and Okay, 
um, it's too too long so let's try and reduce this step to one over three and then take it back to main let's try play that again and then we're gonna give it um, a reverb and a delay okay um, let's try reposition it again I'll take my, uh, my my log drum to a separate pattern and I'll paste it all over my playlist on its own uh, I want the log drum on its own so let's do that all right so over here um, we will switch our baseline we won't be using this baseline anymore so let's try create something um something different so this will be a mini break of some sort so let's try create another baseline um for this one let's use gravity and this is the preset that i love from gravity so let's go with it let's see what notes we can paste Let's reduce the volume for this. downward and octave downward um, to D3. around with the settings of this preset um, let's try increase the attack that automation um, let's take it to a separate pattern and then um, let's make it twice longer as well there we go and then there we go okay let's make it longer again Okay, so we will be recording the automation.
okay so that's the automation that we recorded as you can see it looks a bit chaotic but that's fine so we can also add um, a sort of like more noise from GMS um, just to give it um, that hype you know so we'll use minor ninth chord um, let's Okay, that's too low let's transpose it up and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna play with the cutoff frequency of this let me paste it there create automation clean And this is where the noise will be. I'll let's have it there and here as well. Um, let's take this to the mixer, give it a delay and a reverb. Let's give it more more delay and then what I'll do is I'll add some effects from my deeper sample packs um, let's go to splashes okay I'll use this one and then what I'll do is I'll clone and then I reverse this one Then paste it there. Just to give it a lot of noise and hype. Um, let me see if I can add some snares. Double snare just like that, and then I'll give it um, a reverb and a bit of delay. that to its own pattern pattern 8 and then drag and drop it here
that's it for today's video guys i hope you learned a lot um, from this video um, let me know what you guys think down on the comments don't forget to leave a like and also share for other producers to um, watch the to, to to get the content um, yeah if you want to get hold of the fop likewise i'll leave a link on the description and the comments for you to go and purchase or buy the fop and yeah please don't um, hesitate to support the channel by also purchasing other products there on my store i'll catch you in my next video cheers